Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice with Strife. I'm of course William Strife and this is Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Um, this is a small game that was released this uh, this past summer on Steam. As uh, you can see from the little uh, licensing information down at the bottom, this is actually from 2004, making it kind of an old game. But um, it's it's a really nice little JRPG. I've uh, I've gone through the beginning, and I can already tell that it's it's got a pretty good feel to it. Uh, granted, I'll I'll find out as I continue to play through. But um, pretty simple and straight. The game starts out when. Um, the, uh, well, you, you kind of play as this young girl and her father comes home with a kid who's, uh, pretty beat up, who's about your age, and, um, his name is Joshua, and, uh, you two end up becoming friends and, uh, working to become a member of a guild, which is more or less an adventurer's guild, and I've kind of run through the, uh, the tutorial, and I'm gonna go ahead and load up where I left off, which is basically, um, a test, if you will. It's a test to uh, graduate from the guild and become a full-fledged member, so... What's we, what do we have here? There appears to be a recovery point set up over there. Let's use it if our HP and EP become low before engaging in any further battles. Okay, so that's how I refuel myself. Alright, now I'm gonna get into my first battle. I've never done this by, before. Monster at 12 o'clock. Be careful not to let them take advantage of your blind side. Got it. Oh, oh, hello. This is quite the surprise. Um... I thought that this... I didn't know that this was a tactics game. So... <laughs> okay, well, there you go. I have to hit, move over to the enemy, and then I have to hit it. This is quite interesting. Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, do the same thing. I'll attack this enemy over here. And take it out. There we go. I've, uh... I've got this under control. I know exactly how to play these uh, tactics-type games. I've got a ridiculous amount of time logged in in uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced for the uh, for the Game Boy Advanced. Kind of an old game at this point, um, but I I love the ever ever living crap out of some Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Uh, it's the way that I kind of uh, burned extra time whenever I was in high school. Ironically enough, the sequel uh, never really got behind it. Okay, there we go. Went and take took the monster out. Oh my. They, uh, changed the voice acting. That's a little bit strange. Okay, so, level 3 and level 3, uh, got monster bone times 2. Okay, got a little bit of spoils from the battle. Uh, I'll go ahead and... Oh no, it looks like a swarm of... Rats? Some physical attacks may be ineffective. Let's use arts, not physical attacks. Okay. Okay, so let's, uh, cast a spell at this one. I'll, uh, use art as well. What do we got here? Clock up, speed up the flow of time. It emits a time-space shaking pulse. Faint 20%. So, uh, I guess I'll just do that. I'm not entirely certain what I'm doing. Soul blur. Oh, wow, that did a lot of damage. And now... She'll use... Aqua Blast. Not bad. <laughs> well, this is this is quite the charming little game. I'm uh, I'm I'm satisfied. Ooh, all right, we're taking a monster on from behind. Let's try to use crafts this time around, since crafts have other effects besides just dealing out damage. They'll work. They're worth a shot. Okay, so craft, uh, morale, a shout to encourage allies. Pummel beats an enemy senseless with a series of attacks. So I can't use pummel, but I can use morale. Wow, that was the best voice acting I've ever heard. <laughs> Craft. Dual Strike unleashes a double slash with dual blades. Two hit. Okay, let's go ahead and hit this one. Oh, wow. I own that thing. Oh, dear. I got hit from behind. Okay, so... I don't have enough, so I'll go ahead and just use the standard attack. Take it out. Ugh, I almost had it. Go ahead and do it. There we go. Pretty simple. Indeed, piece of cake. A little bit more experience. Monster bone and uh, monster horn. 
We've got a chest over here. What's inside of it? A reviving bomb. Not bad. Oh, look at that. My, uh, my HP carries over from battle to battle. What do we have here? The door is rusted and appears to be locked. Oh my. Well, that's not optimal. Let's take this one on now. What a surprise. Another creepy thing. I wish there was, were an easier way to take care of them. One blow using an S-Craft or S-Break should do the trick. Just about any enemy. The catch is our CP has to be at least 100 to pull one off for those moves. Okay, take this one out. Ooh. <laughs> well, this is quite... Quite the novel little, um, battle system. It's, it's, it's actually quite cute, given the, uh, the state of affairs. Well, I seem to have missed my opportunity to, uh, land a hit there. Take that one out. Take that one out. Come on. Oof. Oh, I'm lucky that that one missed. Okay, there we go. A little bit more kit. Keep moving. Looks like the sewers aren't too large. Pretty small area. Next one. Okay, let's uh, target this one over here. And you can use an art as well. Let's do the soul block on this one, because those are the ones that are going to heal. Piece of trash. Oh dear. Well, I didn't get my attacks in. It's not optimal. I am learning my lesson. Okay, so, uh, two, two special attacks in the same move are not a good idea. Judging by the way that things are. So, uh, let's go ahead and take this one out over here. Oh, come on. Let's take this one out. Ooh, dear. Ooh, she's, uh, she's suffering a bit there. Ooh, dear. Take this thing out. One hit, more hit, and it's gone. Okay, can I go now? Here we go. Art. Uh, I need it quite more than he does. There we go. Healed myself. Far more HP than I actually need. So uh, we'll do blur again. No, wait, that's the wrong one. I'll use that art on that thing, because uh, it has to be an art to actually hit this thing effectively. There we go. Then we can use physical attacks to uh, clean up this other monster up at the top side of the base. I'll just keep using the uh, move command. There we go. It's actually kind of weird playing this with the controller. I, I, it might work better with a keyboard, but... I mean, I'm all, I've already got the controller in my hand, and, you know, that just means that I can't be asked to, um... ...pick up and just try to figure out the keyboard mid-recording session. I don't know. Uh, okay, there we go. We can just... ...hit it once. It's almost done. And, um... I can't remember his... ...Elysee? Or, um, something? Go ahead and attack again. There we go. And it's dead. Okay, I think I finished the uh, tutorial quest. Oh man. This is so nostalgic. I mean, I've, I've played so many JRPGs in my time. Good stuff. Found small box times two. Well, that's weird. There's a couple boxes inside the treasure chest. The fact that there's not just one, but two is kind of interesting too. I wonder what's inside. Remember, our mission is to search and retrieve only. I'm pretty sure looking inside those boxes doesn't fall under our mission objective. You're no fun at all, Joshua. This has nothing to do with our mission. It's what I like to call good, honest curiosity. 
You know, we're the only ones down here. We can get away with a teensy weensy peek, right? Uh... If you feel like flunking today's test, then by all means, be my guest. Did you just say the F word? Yes, opening one of those boxes could result in an automatic fail for the both of us. If this were a real job, the contents of those boxes would belong to the client. And as long as they are nothing illegal, we have no right to open them. I know you're right, Joshua, but I can't help myself. If you absolutely have to know what's inside, why not ask Miss Sh uh, Shara when we get back? But for now, we need to focus on getting out of here. Alright, alright. Nothing too complicated. By looking inside the chest again, you flunk. Just kidding. Oh, please. What a joke. So... I can't crack that thing open. One of the keys is probably inside of the frickin' chest. Chest is empty, because I already looted it. Surprise, surprise. Okay, well, I'll just go ahead and hop back to this, uh, this point over here. Rest. And, uh, just had a nice, uh, sleep down in the sewers. Uh, gonna be honest, I don't know that that was really such a... Such a good idea. I'll go ahead and open my menu to, um... Let's see, files. I'll go ahead and save just before leaving. Just because, you know, that's a habit of mine, saving before I... Uh, you know, before I start and when I finish. Sherizard, good work, you two. As a rule of training, I'm going to need to confirm the items in your possession. Hand it over small box times two. Yep, they're the real deal, all right. I don't see any evidence of tampering either. That was a close one. <laughs> I figured she would try and set up like set us up like that. Congratulations to the both of you. You have successfully passed your qualification test. You didn't really think something simple would be... This, that simple would be a problem for us, did you? So, uh, Shara, what's in those boxes you had us get? That's for me to know and for you to find out, after your training is finished. That's enough chit-chat for now, so let's get back to work. You two still have some things left to do. <laughs> oh, come on. Didn't you just say that we passed the test? You still have to learn about how to report the results of your work. I'm aware that you're both tired, but it's no time to shirk your duties. Let's get back to the guild. <laughs> Well, this day is just going on forever. Oh well, no sense in giving up when the finish line is in sight. Agreed, it seems we're within reaching distance of our goal. Okay, back to the Bracers Guild. Your final training is how to report to the Guild. With, whenever you finish a job, it is your duty to report the results of your work to the Guild. Reporting on how you resolved the situation and the steps you took to get there are all part of your job as a Bracer. You can report your results to the front desk in each guild branch, and as you already know by now, Arena is in charge here at the Roland branch. In addition, this is where you will be paid for your work. I look forward to seeing great things from the both of you. Now that we're here, why don't you both go ahead and report the results of today's training? Okay, yes, thank you so much. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Ah, report. Okay, receive payment for training retrieval. Um, oh, that would be uh, 500 whatever the currency is in this game. Uh, payment in Mira. Okay, so Mira is the uh, currency. And uh, gain 1 BP, which I can only imagine is a bracer point. Current rank is Junior Bracer, ninth class. In other words, the lowest on the totem pole you can get. <laughs> Good job, you two. It seems like you were able to complete your objective without running into any major problems. Another thing to take note of is that depending on how you handle a job, you may see an increase or decrease in the amount of pay you receive. When you report the results of your work to the guild, pay in the form of Mira isn't the only thing you will receive. You will also accumulate points which are known as BP, bracer points, like I said. BP are an indication of your achievements as a bracer. When these points exceed a certain value, you will advance in rank as a bracer and be awarded with a piece of special equipment by the guild. The ranks of a junior bracer start at 9 and go all the way up to 1. Please set your sights on making first rank and work hard. The amount of Mira and BP you receive will also be recorded in your bracer notebooks, so please have a look sometime later on. Okay. All that's left now is to finalize your training. Let's head back upstairs, shall we? I'll talk to you later, Aina, and sorry about putting more work on your plate today than usual. Don't worry about it, training new bracers is important for the future of the guild. I fully intend to work these two to the bone in any case. <laughs> To the bone? And knowing Shara, it, it'll involve the whip. <laughs> Ooh. Kind of, uh, <clears throat> kinky. Uh, Sherizard, 
let me say it again. Good work to you two. You have now officially completed the entire training course. From now on, you will be learning from your own real-world experience. Well then, Sherizard holds out two small boxes. Aren't those boxes the ones... In answer to your question, yes, these are the boxes you retrieved during today's test. You seem awfully curious to find out what's inside. Are you saying that it's okay if we open them? That's right. Why don't the both of you have a look and see what's inside? Sweet! Alright, let's have a look. Junior Bracer Emblems. This crest is... So this mean... Does this mean that we are... <clears throat> LSD Bright and Joshua Bright. Beginning this day at 1500 hours, you are both hereby appointed as Junior Bracers within the Bracer Guild. From here on, you will work as members of the Bracer Guild to support the livelihood of those around you, defend peace, and uphold justice. Congratulations, you two, and welcome into the fold. <laughs> Did you hear that, Joshua? We've become members of the Bracers Guild. So I'm a Bracer now, huh? I think the realization is only now just beginning to sink in. Come on, Josh. You should be jumping for joy or running around and screaming at the top of your lungs like this. <laughs> Look at us now, world. We did it. <clears throat> I was happy until you made my eardrums bleed. <laughs> I hate to interrupt the celebrations, LSD. I'm terrible with these names. Estelle, I'm just going to call her Estelle. But I need to take off now. I have some backed up work that needs my immediate attention. We understand you have been spending a lot of extra hours working with us during this busy time for the guild. Before you head out, Shara, I just want to say thanks. Likewise, I appreciate the trouble you've gone through for us, Shara. Don't mention it, training new recruits is one of my... is one of a bracer's many duties. Believe it or not, I was once in your shoes a long time ago when your father, Cassius, trained me. So that's why you have so much respect for my dad, huh? <laughs> There's actually much more to it than that, but I'll save that conversation for another day. As for the both of you, work hard to become full-fledged bracers early on so you can help guide those new recruits who come in after yourselves. And in time, I hope to see you both become respectable bracers like your father. Anyway, I'll leave you with that thought. And there she goes. Um, I don't get it. Get what? This is Sherizard, aka the Silver Streak, one of the most skilled young bracers we've we're talking about. So why is it that she holds Dad in such high esteem? He just seems like nothing more than a no-good middle-aged man who's always out doing who knows what instead of being a father. A no-good middle-aged man, huh? From your viewpoint, it doesn't come as a surprise that you would see him in that fashion. Huh? Never mind. Let's hurry and head home. We should let Dad know that we qualified as Junior Bracers. Uh, right. I did, however, need to uh, pick up a newspaper. Ridge. Oh, hey! I didn't know that Ridge Dog was here. Hi there, eh. Estelle and Joshua. Oh, hi, Ridge. Looks like your training is over, isn't it? I'm humbled to know that you two are the youngest ever to pass the Bracer exam. I look forward to working with you in the same capacity ourselves as well. I have to get back to work now, but if there's something you don't understand, give me a holler. Oh, not bad. Is there anything up on the board that I can take? Nope. No jobs to take on the board. Hurry up and come on! W wait for me, Luke! <laughs> What's going on here? Huh? Oh, it's you two. Oh, great. It's Estelle. Hi there, Joshua. Okay, you little twerp. What's with the oh great, it's Estelle remark? And what's the big hurry? How about telling us where you're headed? You're not thinking about wandering around town alone, are you? The roads are full of monsters, I hope you know. You're such a pest, Estelle. Don't you know there's no room for girls to be sticking their big fat noses in boys' business? Quit acting like you're a bracer, you wannabe. <laughs> How wrong you are, Luke. How incredibly wrong. You're more wrong than a fool who thinks there's better tasting milk in Liberal than the milk that comes from the Prezel farm. Okay. What? No way. You're full of it, Estelle. In fact, as of just a few minutes ago, we qualified to become real bracers. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Real bracers. 
More like brazers in training, really. Don't think you should be getting on your high horse just yet, Estelle. Now a high pony, on the other hand. Quit being a killjoy. Wow, you two are great. I'm so happy for the both of you. Oh, Pat, you're such a good little boy. <laughs> Unlike that smart Alec and cynical brat you call a friend. Th that isn't fair. I was supposed to become a bracer first. I can accept that Joshua became a bracer before me, but getting passed up by the likes of Estelle. Hmm? What's the likes of Estelle supposed to mean? Just so you know, you can't even be a bracer until you're 16 years old, get it? Only mature people allowed. <laughs> 16 is mature now, eh? <laughs> and that means no little kids who are still going to Sunday school. I don't know how I should put this, Estelle, but Sunday school is dying to have you back. <laughs> You'd better watch out, Estelle. I'm going to train at my secret base, and before you know it, I'm going to be a bracer too. Come on, Pat, let's go. Uh, all right, I'm coming. See you later, Estelle. Bye, Joshua. <laughs> that boy, Luke. He's always trying to pick a fight with me. I wonder if he just plain hates me or something. Rather, I think it's the exact opposite. Uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, don't worry about it, just a boy thing. At any rate, what do you think Luke meant when he said secret base? I don't know why, but somehow it makes me a bit curious. I know exactly what you mean. A secret base sounds really intriguing. The pure heart of a young child can be so inspiring at times. That's not really what I meant by curious. Okay, I need to check up the f general store for a newspaper because, um... The father asked me to get one. Hey there, Estelle and Joshua. How can I help you? Did you manage to become bracers? You bet we did. Maybe I should have you start calling me Hyper Bracer Estelle from now on. Uh, by the way, Miss Ryan, did the Liberal News come in? Yeah, it came in a little afternoon. Don't brush me off like that, you two. Oh, whatever. I'll take one copy then. That comes to 100 Mira, please. Purchase Liberal News, issue one. I know my dad always buys a copy of this magazine, but does it really sell that well? It sure does, the Liberal News has an excellent reporter and camerawoman who have done a great job reporting the latest and most reliable news. They're even supposed to have a running story related to Queen Alicia's birthday celebration. One more thing before you go, this gift is my way of saying congratulations. It's a free sample item I received with my shipment of goods, but don't hold the free part against me. Received recipe book. Uh, what's this supposed to be for? There's a ton of blank pages. It's a recipe book, isn't it? You got it. When you get hurt fighting, if you ju just limit yourself to healing bombs all the time, it's going to cut pretty deep into your wallets. This is where a recipe book comes into play. If you eat food to recover your strength instead, it's basically free. Assuming you have all the ingredients, anyway. So, if you eat something new, write it down, what's in it and how, and you'll have lots of recipes in no time. So, how about we try this out? Go ahead and eat this cookie, Estelle. Ooh, a maple cookie. Oh, well, I have made a personal rule to never turn down sweets. Eat maple cookie. Learned maple cookie recipe. Well, check that out. If, if, if you could learn how to make something as easy as eating it, I would be an absolute master chef at this point. Basically, all you have to do is eat the food to learn the recipe. It's as simple as that. Ah, oh, if only life was actually that easy. As you're traveling about, you should eat whatever food you come across that you haven't had an opportunity to try before. I can just imagine that being like a, a comic strip, shoving, like, the, the spilled entrails of a gore tusk from World of Warcraft down your gullet, and it's like, Oh my god, it's the entrails of a gore tusk bogor. It tastes... Terrible, but I know how to make it now. <laughs> well, that sounds pretty convenient. Um, it's not that I don't like cooking and all, it's just that I never seem to get any better. I'd sure love to be able to increase my repertoire and really shock my dad's taste buds for once in my life. That's the spirit, and in passing, if you are in need of any ingredients, I'd be delighted to serve your cooking needs. Huh, <laughs> you really know how to solicit your customers, Miss Ryan. Thank you for the recipe book. We'll put it to good use. Well, you know, guys, um, I've, I've kind of gone through a little bit of this game. I'm having a, a whole lot of fun doing this. I wouldn't mind playing more of this on camera for you guys. And 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and save and quit here, and if you guys really want to see more of this from me, uh, say so. I will be more than happy to play more of it. But uh, until next time, I am, of course, William Strife. This has been a Slice with Strife. Tales in the Sky. Bye!